Welcome friends, it's Fern and Frank with Java Walker World and here we are in Tuseta Island in the Azores, the first island in our stop and our visit. We are right now in the city of Angara do Rismo and we're going to walk into the Duke of Tuseta Garden. It's a beautiful tiered garden um, and if you have lots of time, uh, to uh, look around. It is not a difficult walk. They have the a flat area. The garden is beautiful. And then they have a tiered walkway all the way up um, with beautiful, outstanding views. And then there's a little surprise, which is our number two spot to check out. Um, so you'll have to see what that is when we get there. So Thank you for joining us and thank you for being with us. Walk along.
And here we are, number two, the Memorial Obelisk to honor the Duke Pedro IV. The views from the top of this plateau are just stunning. You can get to it through the garden, a walk just as we just did, or you can drive to this site. And it's just stunning. You can see the whole city of Angara. Uh, you can also see the fort, the marina, and all around the area. It's just beautiful. Don't miss it. Number three, the harbor front of Angara, where the portage to the city are, the gates to the city or the doors to the city. Beautiful harbor front with fancy restaurants and cafes, beautiful sailboats, a beautiful welcoming area at the doors to the city with statues of the explorer Vastu Gama and uh, it's just stunning. I hope you enjoy it. One of our favorite sightseeing spots to see in Angara is number four, the convent in St. Francisco, which was a convent to begin with and now is a museum. It has so much to see and offer. I highly recommend you set aside four to five hours here. You can probably rush through it, but I wouldn't want to. There's so much to see and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. And on Sundays, it's free.
Number five is Mont Brasil and its historic fort. Quite stunning. Look at that. To think uh, the Azores had such a thing, but with pirates and all sorts of things going on, I, I'm not surprised as well in the same uh, sense. Uh, but uh, it's quite beautiful. And uh, in November, as we were there in November, um, it was closed, uh, but just for a short time for maintenance and, and so forth. And I'm sure when you get to go, you will see it and you will love it and you'll get a chance to see what's inside. Well, we took the opportunity and walked around the whole area. It was beautiful. Hello? Are we early? Hello? Are we early for dinner? There's no one home. Hello? Thank you for sharing this time with us. I hope you enjoyed it. And our next video following this one will be of the Terceda countryside and all that it has to offer.